Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. I have an Acer laptop here, and I'm going to show you how to address the problem of you trying to start your computer. It turns on, but the screen stays black, and it starts beeping, and, and it doesn't go any further than that. I'm going to show you how to fix that in this video. Usually when your computer does this, it's beeping in a pattern. We call these beep codes. These beep codes are meant to tell us what's wrong with your computer. So if at all possible, identify the pattern your computer is beeping in. Is it a series of three beeps, pause, and then three more? Is it four beeps or two beeps? Is it some long, long pauses and some short? Uh, try to figure out what code or pattern these are beeping in. Most of the time, these patterns are telling you something's wrong with your RAM. If it's beeping three times in a row and then pausing and repeating, or four times pausing and repeating, usually with Acer, these are due to your RAM. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to test which of your RAM is bad so you know how to fix this problem. If your computer is beeping in a different pattern, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description and I'll put the beep codes in there. Uh, also, if you have any questions, if you don't see yours there, uh, or if you want more information on how to deal with your particular error, uh, leave me a comment and I do try to get back to you as soon as possible. So to test and see which of your RAM is bad for a majority of these beep codes, shut your computer down, power it off, and I'll show you how to test your RAM. Hopefully when you turn your computer over, you have an easy access panel or door on the bottom like I do. If you do, it'll be much easier to access your RAM. If you don't, you'll most likely have to take the entire bottom case off. If you have to take your entire bottom case off, keep in mind a few things. After removing all the visible screws, sometimes they hide screws underneath your battery once you slide that out, so look there. Sometimes they hide screws under your DVD drive once you slide that out. And oftentimes they'll hide screws under your rubber feet. So check out all those places for hidden screws so you don't just force it off and break it. If you're uncomfortable opening up your computer with just that information, try to find a teardown or disassembly video on your exact model computer. That'll show you how to get into your exact model and limit your chances of breaking anything. If you're uncomfortable with that or if you're not sure what to look for, leave me a message and I'll help you out. So for me, I'm just going to remove my panel. And there's my RAM. A RAM will usually look like this. It will either be two sticks on top of each other, two sticks side to side, or just one stick by itself. If you only have one stick, you'll have to purchase another good stick to perform this test. So with two sticks of RAM, what you're going to do is remove one and leave the other one in. RAM is usually held by these spring-loaded arms on the side. You pull them apart and the RAM will come out. You pull these apart, it pops up, and then you slide it out. Once you've taken out one stick of RAM, just try to start your computer back up. If your computer starts and works properly, then you know this stick is bad, that stick is good, and then you want to replace this one. At this point, check out the video link below in the description. It'll show you how to buy compatible RAM for your computer. If your computer still doesn't start at this point, then swap them. Take this one out and put this one back in. And then try your computer again. If your computer works, then same thing. You've identified this as, as your bad stick. Now, it's possible that different ports have gone bad. So if neither one of these work, and if your computer doesn't start up at all, try them in, in different ports. So if you try to start your computer here and it doesn't work, take this out and put it in, in the other port and try to start your computer again because it's possible one port has gone bad and your RAM is actually good. So if that didn't fix your issue, perhaps your beep codes are telling you something else. Perhaps it's in a different pattern. They have beep codes for CPU failures, uh, beep codes for CMOS battery failures, uh, beep codes for BIOS issues. So there's all sorts of beep codes telling us all sorts of things to fix. So if you can't figure out your pattern, leave me a comment. Maybe I can help you out. Uh, and again, I will put the rest of the Acer beep codes in the description below. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me. Uh, please like and share if this helped. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.